welcome ladies and gentlemen to video number 225 and this video is based on how to compute marginal effects in multinomial logistic regression models in today's video i'll uh, discuss two things first i will explain a brief theory of uh, multinomial uh, regression models and then uh, i'll uh, show how to estimate multinomial logit regression model and how to compute margin effects of various independent variables used in multinomial reg uh, logistic regression model in uh, example using stata Multina multinomial logistic regression is uh, an extension of binary logistic regression which allows for more than two categories of the dependent variable multinomial regression uses maximum likelihood estimation method to evaluate the probability of categorical membership and it is used to predict category categorical placement in or the probability of a category membership on a dependent variable based on multiple independent uh, variables the independent variables can either be dichotomous or continuous that is interval or uh, ratio scale Uh, multinomial logistic regression model has a uh, certain assumptions for example the assumption of independence among the dependent variable choices and this assumption states that the choice of our uh, membership in one category is not related to the choice or membership of another category the assumption of independence can be tested with hausman mcfadden test and uh, further Multinomial logistic regression also assumes non-perfect separation. If the groups of the outcome variable are perfectly separated by the predictors, then unrealistic coefficients will be estimated and effect sizes will be greatly exaggerated. Uh, in this uh, slide, I have used data of 200 economic students in IDS and uh, i have uh, given a uh, detail of uh, how to estimate uh, uh, logistic multinomial logistic regression model uh, i won't like to uh, explain this because i have already explained the theory of this example in my earlier video that is video number 80 on my youtube channel so you are uh, uh, you are uh, reminded to watch my video number 80 for the for this part so i just briefly um, have a bird eye view of this video so this is uh, uh, the dependent variable has three categories uh, and this is uh, for students favorite flavor of ice cream chocolate vanilla and strawberry so it is uh, polycartmus and uh, this this is the uh, th this was done in uh, SPSS these are the results and uh, here uh, in this slide you see the various uh, uh, things like uh, n provides the number of observation marginal percentages ice cream then varied missing total and these are the marginal fitting information and there are chi square degrees of freedom significance pseudo r square and these are the chocolate relative to vanilla and these are strawberry to relative to vanilla and these are chocolate relative to vanilla and uh, strawberry relative to vanilla and uh, there is exponenti exponentiated beta and uh, these are the results of uh, various uh, now i'll show how to estimate marginal effects in uh, stata so in first part I'll show the estimation of multinomial logit model and in the second part I'm going to compute the marginal effects of various independent variables. So I'll open my data in uh, uh, Stata. So I have already opened it. Here is, uh, here is my Stata and uh, this is the, you know, the various variables. Poverty is the dependent variable. It has three categories. Uh, very poor moderate and uh, less poor moderate and uh, highly poor this is age this is these are remittances this is family size 
this is uh, immigration this is skill and th these are education categories so let me uh, show the data to you uh, here is the data this is poverty it has it has three levels one low two moderate and three high this is age engineers these are remittances yes no this is family size that is number of uh, members in the family this is immigration yes no these are skill yes no and these are the various uh, categories of uh, education so first i will show how to estimate multinomial uh, logistic regression model since poverty has more than two categories here that is a uh, low moderate and high so i cannot use binary logistic model but instead i'll use a uh, multinomial uh, logistic regression model so i'll copy this command from here this is a uh, I, I did this earlier so you see let me copy and uh, i'll uh, paste it here so my command for multinomial logit is m logit and pout is my dependent variable it has three categories age remittances family size skill education categories these are my uh, explanatory variables and uh, finally after this comma uh, i have written base outcome one so the one is my uh, base category a reference category uh, if i press return so here is a uh, the estimation and uh, these are uh, iteration so zero iteration iteration 1 2 3 and 4 and uh, these are the number of observation 375 this is log uh, likelihood uh, ratio chi square with 18 degrees of freedom and uh, it is highly significant and this is a uh, pseudo r square which is a uh, 0.18 and this is log likelihood now this is the base category so this is a uh, uh, moderate relative to uh, low poverty age remittances skill and education has a negative relationship uh, with the probability of outcome occurring uh, but the family size has a uh, a positive uh, relationship uh, with it these are the standard errors and in this column you see z values these are the p values and these are confidence uh, interval okay and after this i will uh, estimate the marginal effects and i'll copy this command from here i have already done this but i want to show it to you again uh, this is a uh, my command for uh, the margin effects copy and uh, I will paste it here so in order to compute or estimate margin effects I will write margins comma dy dx and dy dx is margin effects and within parentheses I have these independent variables so Stata will compute marginal effects of age, remittances, family size, skill, and various categories of education on um, the probability of uh, outcome occurring relative to the base category. So, if I press return, enter, uh, it will compute uh, these values, marginal uh, effects. So, I just gave this command, which is in front of you here and these are the average marginal effects and these are number of observations and dy dx with respect to age and these are uh, the results the dy dx uh, one two three these are uh, for uh, low poverty moderate poverty and higher poverty so these are dy dx these are uh, the low moderate and uh, high poverty and these are the marginal effects of remittances with respect to these categories of poverty and these are the marginal effects of uh, family size uh, for low moderate and uh, high poverty uh, with reference to the base category and these are the marginal effects of uh, skill for the three categories of poverty uh, and here these are for education so one education category is the base which is illiterate and then we use second category and third category and uh, so on there are a number of categories 
so these are the uh, margin effects of uh, various categories of education for the low moderate and uh, high poverty uh, categories uh, so ladies and gentlemen this is uh, a very informative video one of our uh, phd students uh, has done his PhD, uh, his uh, dissertation on this topic and uh, he has used th this data uh, computing binary logistic model then multinomial logistic model and the uh, marginal effects and so on and he has given some policy implications uh, if you have any question regarding this you can ask me in your uh, comment section under this uh, video and i'll uh, try my level best to come up with the uh, answer uh, i would like you to subscribe to my youtube channel so that uh, you can uh, get a, a notification about my other videos uh, i have been uploading a large uh, number of videos since i started this uh, youtube channel and this is a uh, video number 225 and uh, i'll do some more videos for you in the near future uh, ladies and gentlemen do not uh, forget to click on the bell icon so that you can uh, get notification about other videos that uh, i'll upload for you uh, very soon i thank you very much for uh, watching my video and see you soon in another video uh, have a good uh, sunday today is the last uh, sunday of february 2021 see you in another video uh, in the month of march